The Tragedy of the Commons, presented by Tony Liu. First, the world in which we live on provides us with the necessary natural resources for us to live our daily lives and become stronger. However, as humans, we are fueled by greed, making it impossible for us to share a common resource. The Tragedy of the Commons helps explain this. What is the Tragedy of the Commons? The Tragedy of the Commons is a problem that occurs when individuals exploit a shared resource to the extent that demand overwhelms supply and the resource becomes unavailable to some or all. An example of the Tragedy of the Commons that occurs in daily life is a family eating cookies. Imagine a family with three children bringing home 40 cookies from their local supermarket. The parents place all the cookies into a large cookie jar and tells each sibling they must take an equal amount so that the cookies could last each of them 30 days. They each were allowed to take one cookie every day to bring to their school during lunch. The three boys did as they were told and brought one cookie to school every day. During lunch the next day, the children of the lunchroom want to exchange their food for the youngest sibling's cookie. He gladly accepts the offer and thinks that if he brought more cookies, he could get all the food from the other children. The next day, the boy sneaks a second cookie because he thinks that it won't hurt anyone because there are 10 extra cookies to spare. He brings these cookies to school and continues to sneak an extra cookie for the next few days. The older siblings noticed the jar was decreasing at a faster rate than when they had first began. They too had been able to exchange their cookies with their friends, but had kept to a solid one cookie per day rule. After learning the youngest brother had taken two cookies per day, they started to take two as well. After five days of taking two cookies apiece, the older brother realized it was not fair because each sibling had to have equal amounts of cookies at the end. He then takes one more cookie each day in order to even out the amount of cookies taken by the youngest. The other bro brothers find out and take three as a result. The brothers continue to repeat the cycle until all the cookies run out. By that time, they had been taking five cookies every day. What should have supplied each brother for 30 days only lasts 15. The brothers are all sad and cannot believe what had happened. The siblings are then forced to eat the disgusting cafeteria food until they received more cookies the following month. What could have been done to avoid the shortage of cookies? If the parents gave out equal amounts of cookies at the beginning of the month and decided that each person must take care of their own ration, each sibling would care more about their own cookies and could serve better. Another solution would be to create stricter regulations on the amount of cookies taken from the jar. By creating harsh punishments, each brother would uphold the responsibility of managing the cookies. By establishing boundaries, guidelines, rules, and punishments, this avarice cycle can be avoided. Created using Powtoon.